So now we will cook shakshuka. So um, shakshuka is a very traditional Israeli dish. Uh, it's composed mainly from tomatoes and eggs, but uh, many other uh, people add some things like uh, I will add this uh, uh, onion and parsley and other stuff. And it's eaten mainly in breakfast. Um, and it's most of Israelis love it very much. It's not a thing which is, uh, let's say, it takes too much time. Just cut in a lot of vegetables, and throw in the eggs inside. Oil. Not too much, but still the oil. Like fill all this, uh, all this side because you don't want the, uh, the onion to get burnt. This, this part of the tomato is the part which contains a uh, molecule which is not so healthy for our body, it's called solanin. And uh, when you cut it out, you really uh, lower it, its concentration in the tomatoes that you eat. So you should do it, everyone should do it when they use tomatoes. It's not, uh, you, you won't die from it, but uh, it's better to do this. The onion started getting like this. Not too much uh, uh, tomato paste. Okay, this is very. Um, you see this texture. See. Okay, so I'll, I'm adding a bit of it. You just put it on top of it, and then we'll add some water. It's better to add water uh, which is um, not directly from the tap. Uh, but filtered water. I prefer to add uh, water which is filtered. Uh, before I add it, I put it inside this uh, plastic because when I uh, mix it with the tomato paste that is left there, so I'm taking it out actually, so it's uh, very good. Okay. After you add the water, you can all you can take the heat up again because now you have a lot of water to heat and before that you just had the onions and the tomatoes and you didn't want them to burn but now the water will take all the heat so it's okay okay in the end we will also add uh, tomato juice but now all you have to do is like to stir very good to give it a good texture of a sauce if you see, it's it's really a, it's really a, a matter of your decision if you want to add some more more, more water. Um, I like to add more water because uh, in the end of the cooking, the water evaporates. So if you want this to be like this in the end, okay. So you need to add water now. So I'm adding not too much. Don't forget that we will add here eggs that will be cooked inside the sauce. We need some place in order to put them. See. Mm -hmm. So we put paprika. Mm -hmm. Sweet paprika. You see? And you can add some paprika which is like a powder also. A bit. Let's see, not too much. It will give it the, the it will give the sauce a very deep red color. Okay, because of the color of the paprika. You see, it's very dark, deep, deep red. Let's let's say. Not, not too much. Twist pepper. Not not a liter. It's uh, like I think it's we left. We are left here with like 300 milliliters. But it's, uh, as you see, it's also consistent, very a uh, texture of not a regular juice. Now, like one minute, and we will, we will add the eggs. Like, we take it in 
not in our case, we'll take four eggs. Okay. You're breaking it and you're putting it from a height because you want it to fall down and you, you see it created a pit for itself. You see? If you do it from low height, then it will be on the surface, but you want it to do it in, at least that, that's the way I do it. I put it from, from height and then it falls and creates its own you know its own place. You see? And then two more like this. Last one. That's it. Now we will just close the pan. Important to close the frying pan because if you won't close it, then the uh, top part of the egg won't be cooked uh, very well. And it depends actually on the people. I prefer it cooked very well. Mm -hmm. There are some people who like the top part of the egg a bit raw. If you know what I mean and then they can let let this uh, stay open and also if you close it so you will get a, a sauce which is more liquid and again it's a thing of choice I prepare it more liquid and fully fully uh, baked so I will close it now okay now you lower a bit the heat you open it if you want you see now that the top part of the eggs is already cooked so this is what I wanted now you can put some this is, this is zatar which, which is an Israeli spice but you can I think you can find it if you really look also in Europe so you put a bit and especially on the eggs it's, it's making this a bit more beautiful in my opinion and adds to the, for the taste as well and now you close it again um, now we will cut all these parsley leaves. What you do, you, you take them with your hands and you make the smallest, the, the smallest, let's call it a cube that you can, okay? When you do it, you put your fingers like this and then you cut. Okay, now you do this again, one more time, and that's it. It's it's cut in a very um, very good way. This is the let's say the most convenient and efficient way to cut parsley leaves. It's a bit harsher in the second time because it's already cut, but you still have to try. Okay, now what we will do is just put it on the top part of all our um, shakshuka. Try to put it evenly. Now what we will add is the last thing, is the um, green onion, which I will cut, and also the basil. And then five minutes and the shakshuka will be ready. Call it, let's say if I translate it directly, it's called green onion. Smell. All this. We we'll go on top now, together with the parsley that we added earlier. Just take it, mix it, it doesn't matter. Okay. So this is, so this uh, is the basil. basil with the, let's call it green onion. You see that the parsley already entered inside the sauce part of it. And then five minutes and it's ready. Mm -hmm. You will see how it will look in the end. 
So this is ready and it's in, eating with challah. It's a special bread for Shabbat. And uh, now we will eat. How you say um, good uh, bon appetit? Better one. Better one. So better one. Yesterday it was really soft. Mm -hmm. Uh, Israeli food, it's like couscous, uh, in Israel is tip tim, uh, it's the same way to cooking of rice or, um, or kind of, it's kind of pasta, so just cook it for 8 minutes and that's it. We are in Fartavor and we are going to see some underground water and maybe we can swim there. What, what is written here? Yeah, so it says that um, this, this uh, spring was reconstructed um, in the memory of uh, five soldiers, Israeli soldiers, uh, that died in a protective edge uh, operation in 2014 in Gaza. Um, and one of them, one of the five soldiers, is from this uh, Moshav, Shadmot Vora, um, which is really close to here, and he really liked that place. So his family and the neighbors and the other uh, fellows uh, of the Moshav uh, reconstructed and uh, rebuilt uh, this uh, spring in the memory of him and the four other soldiers that died with him. Thank you. So this is underground water. There is some pumps, which is pumping water out from uh, underground and it's go down in the river. <laughs> it is natural, it doesn't have any chemicals, but it's a bit cold. It's three strawberries and only black one like this one you can eat. Okay. You say um, good uh, bon appetit? Better one. Better one. So better one.